Hey everybody, welcome to my Analog Project 2012 and for the month of November we're shooting with the Kodak Signet 35. This camera released by Kodak in 1951. Uh, this camera is a rangefinder camera. Uh, it was a gift from my wife and kids. They found it in a thrift store, only paid for uh, a couple of bucks for it. Uh, we didn't think it worked, but I took a close look at it and once I figured out everything I determined that it did work. Uh, the camera uh, has a, a cast aluminum body so it's pretty heavy and pretty solid and you could probably drop this thing and not really worry about it. Uh, back in 1951 that's how they did things I guess. This camera uh, is a 35mm rangefinder camera. Uh, it has a, an Ektar 44mm f3.5 lens. This camera has a Kodak uh, Synchro uh, 300 shutter so it only has a couple shutter speeds. 1 25th of a second, uh, 1 50th of a second, 1 100th of a second, and 1 300th of a second and that's it. Uh, and the aperture goes from uh, like uh, 22, f22, all the way up to or, or down to uh, f3.5. Uh, the camera uh, doesn't have much uh, to it. To use this camera, uh, you open the back. Well, first of all, let's look at the back here. There's a little scale here, a little computer that allows you to uh, help uh, uh, get your exposure correct. You have uh, you know a night and a day setting on here, a film and a flash button. And it's not really hooked up to anything. It's just more of a guide that you use to uh, to determine your uh, your exposure based on your lighting conditions. So you'll have a, a an f-stop scale on the top and a shutter speed scale on the bottom. So based on your lighting condition and the type of film that you're using, you know X pan and and uh, you know whatever, you're um, you're basically just uh, lining up these scales and determining your exposure. So that's pretty much how it works. And I did take a look on the uh, on the inside of the camera. Uh, it was pretty clean. This whole back uh, comes off like that. So the inside of the camera, you probably can't see that, but it was uh, pretty clean. So um, I ran some film through it. I uh, was surprised that it worked uh, as well as it did. Uh, so anyway, once around the camera, you have the 44mm uh, lens on front. Once the uh, film's loaded in here and your counter, uh, you reset your counter to zero. You have a, a frame advance knob on one side which will cause the other knob over here to spin when you have film loaded in here. And of course this is the rewind uh, to roll your film back into the canister when you're done. But basically what you're doing is you look at the lens here and we have on the front we have uh, the shutter speed dial. So you twist this dial to select your shutter speed and then back here we have the, um, the um, f-stops all the way up to f16. There's a little tab right there you can see I'm moving it with my, uh, my thumb there. So you set your your uh, your shutter speed, set your f-stop, and then you grab this little thing down here and you rotate to uh, do your focus. And it's a rangefinder camera, so when you're looking through it, you're basically looking out of these two holes right here uh, on the front of the camera when you're looking through the viewfinder. And it is a very tiny viewfinder, and I find it, found it hard to, to see what I was doing uh, when it comes to composition. So I just kind of got to a point where I was just going to aim the camera without even looking through the viewfinder and hope that I got uh, my composition correct. But once you... Um, uh, you set your shutter speed and your f-stop and you get your focus. You have the uh, lens, uh, the uh, shutter cocking mechanism right here, this little lever. You push that down like that to cock the shutter and then you have your shutter release button over here. When you press it, um, it releases the shutter and it resets itself so, so you can shoot another uh, photograph. So there you go. Very simple to operate. And there's also a PC sync port, an old, uh, old school uh, PC sync port that goes here on the side if you want to use a flash. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else uh, to say about this camera. But surprisingly enough, it takes decent photographs. I was happy with the results. But it's one of those type of cameras that forces you to slow down and uh, really concentrate on, on what you're doing. So if you're a speed uh, shooter, you know, you're out there in the street uh, snapping away, this might not be the camera for you. This is probably good for portraits and, uh, and landscapes and, and things of that nature. Uh, if you if you're intent on shooting on the street with something like this, you're best to go with a sunny 16 rule and uh, maybe hypo hyperfocal uh, distance. Um, the method where you're setting your your f-stop and your shutter speed based on um, a few other criteria. You look up hyper di hyper uh, focal distance and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a, it's an old method that sports photographers used a lot. Uh, to eliminate having to constantly uh, recalibrate and reset the camera for every shot. Um, anyway, there you go. The Kodak Signet 35 released in 1951 and this is what I'm shooting with for the month of uh, November, my Analog Project 2012. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.